this is IT9001. I'm here with another video tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to uh, burn a dual layer DVD using Helio DVD Movie Factory 6. Okay, so what you do first is you open uh, up Helio DVD Movie Factory 6, and it sets up a pretty neat wizard here. It's easy to use, uh, you'll be able to navigate through it quite efficiently. Okay, so what you want to do here is select new project. I had an existing project, so that's why that was selected and hit uh, DVD if it's not already selected for you and go to next. Uh, I'm not going to save the other project that I was doing but if you had another project you were going before and you'd like to save it you might want to do that at that stage. And I'm not going to create a menu you can go ahead and make a menu if you'd like. So what I'm just going to add the video file so just so you m if you missed that I went up here to this uh, film reel and clicked it. And I'm going to be burning uh, the OC uh, preview for season four, and yeah, it's a pretty good show. I recommend you watch it, but it's your choice. <laughs> uh, yep, seems to be working fine. Uh, now, now that we have the stage, um, you can see at the bottom I've already selected uh, 8.5 gigabyte. But just in case it wasn't selected, you'd click on that and go here and select 8.5. But mine was selected by default. Um, so right now, that's how much uh, space is being occupied on the DVD, so you're if I were to burn this, I'd be wasting a DVD, or a dual layer DVD, um, because it doesn't even make it halfway. So when you want to burn, you want to make sure that um, most of the room is taken up by the video, and don't waste DVDs, they're expensive. Um, now. Ulead will automatically burn at 720p um, because uh, that's the, it's set on that by default. So you don't have to worry about uh, setting those uh, uh, setting in the preferences and all that. Uh, all you really have to worry about is if you are going to go even a, a even higher definition, maybe 1080p. Um, but otherwise, just hit on next and go on to next step. Now you can press play and test it, but I know it, it works and. I'm just going to hit next. Uh, on this stage, then you it'll lead you to the actual burning uh, w wizard, or the burning stage of the wizard. And basically, in this step, you just want to click burn. If you if you really want, you can go over here and uh, change the burning uh, speed. Uh, my burner is actually 16x, but since there's uh, nothing in the burner at this moment, it reads 48x but it's actually read speed not the burn speed so I usually burn at the maximum of 16x but sometimes it's better to burn at a lower rate um, that's your opinion but uh, that's pretty much it all you have to do now is just hit burn and it should burn for you thank you for watching the tutorial hope that helps